Good morning, guys. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am starting my day off today with some beautiful papaya boats. We picked up some papaya from the grocery store yesterday, and then I just filled it with some peach, some peach, a peach, and a couple kiwis, and some passion fruit. And I'm very excited to have this as my little pre-workout because I'm going to the gym. Mmm. But um, today, today I thought I would do a video where I share with you guys everything that I eat today and then at the end I break it down in terms of micro and macronutrients and also calories. I have been getting a lot of questions recently talking a lot more about fitness on my channel. You guys are wondering if my diet is changed, how many calories I'm eating, if I'm you know, trying to target certain macros. I will say though that I do not track my calories or my macros on a daily basis. I just find it to be super tedious and nobody really wants to track their calories on a daily basis. It can mess with your head if you're constantly just like looking at the numbers of things. Um, and for me, I personally don't find it to be as necessary to do so because I've been eating this way, whole foods, plant-based for five years now, and I kind of have got myself into a rhythm where I am eating pretty much the same kind of portions or I just know how much I'm eating on a daily basis. If I have a smaller breakfast, like fruit or something, I know that I'll probably want to come home after the gym and have something a little bit extra. Um, so I don't need to kind of like plan things out or really like focus on the numbers too much. I just kind of know how much is enough. And for me personally, I found between 22, 2300 to even 2800 is kind of like my range that I eat for calories every day. Um, usually it's between 25 to 2700. Um, and usually on the days that I'm working out, I'm a lot more ravenous because of course I've burned calories working out. But even on rest days, there's days that I'm resting and I'm super hungry and I listen to my body. That's another thing that I do is I really listen to my body and my hunger cues. And if I'm hungry, I, I'll eat even if it's a rest day and I didn't go out and burn a bunch of calories. It's really important to just listen to your body and your hunger cues. And eating whole foods, plant-based, it's really easy to do that because you're nourishing your yourself with really wholesome, delicious, and nutritious foods. Another thing that I have been doing since I have been going to the gym and working out a lot more is not only making sure that I'm eating enough, but also supplementing. As you guys know, I've been supplementing with the Vivo Life Perform Protein Powder, and so I've been having kind of like a protein shake, usually after every workout. Some days I'll have it on a rest day as well, but usually it's every time that I go to the gym, and I go to the gym now between four to six days a week. And also today I want to share with you guys kind of like an update on the daily supplements that I take, which isn't a lot, but I think it has changed since the last time that I shared that with you guys. So that should be very interesting to see. I'm also excited to be eating this delicious papaya boat and I'm gonna finish this. And then we are off to the gym and I am working them legs and that booty. It's gonna be a good day. So that was a killer leg session. We are back home as you can see and I am going to make a smoothie bowl. Ever since we discovered that the local health food shop sells uh, acai, how do you say, how do you even say it? Acai? Acai? I feel like it's acai. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. But ever since we discovered our local health food shop sells those and the red, pink pitaya or dragon fruit packs, I've been loving making beautiful smoothie bowls and banana ice cream because I haven't had banana ice cream in a really long time. So now I'm going through a phase of having banana ice cream. Long story short, I'm going to make a smoothie bowl. Also, people were asking which store. As well as my 
Oh yeah, a lot of people were asking where we found them. So the local health food shop is called Wellness Warehouse. So if you are in the Cape Town area, we go to the big wellness warehouse. Some of the smaller ones might have them in the freezer section, but yeah, the big one definitely has it in the little vegan freezer section, which is really cool. So I'm gonna make an acai, 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 acai bowl right now. <laughs> ah, okay, one, organic, unsweetened. There's two different kinds of acai, acai that you can get. Um, we use the organic unsweetened one. And then I've got about three frozen bananas, and the key when you are using the Nutribullet is to chop up the bananas, so you're already doing half the work for the blender, and then it will blend easier. It's a process with this thing. I'm packing it in there, Bubby. No, it's just because I put the acai, acai on the <laughs> bottom. I don't want to say it wrong, so I just say it both ways. <laughs> then I'm not wrong. <laughs> A little bit of unsweetened almond milk to get it all blended together. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay, how am I gonna decorate this to make it look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> the prettier the smoothie bowl, the better it tastes. That's the rule. And le voila, a beautiful smoothie bowl. Smoothie bowl. Smoothie bowl. Smoothie bowl. Added some buckwheat groats, I think that's what you call them. Raspberries, blueberries, some coconut shreds, and a little bit more fresh banana. And I made it look pretty, but as I go along, I'm gonna add more berries and more coconut shreds because it just, you know, every bite needs a fresh berry. So you guys are probably like, Maddie, what the heck? You said that you have protein, a protein shake, after your workout. Why didn't you add protein to your smoothie bowl? And I normally, like sometimes I do, but lately I've been adding a few extra things that wouldn't make my smoothie or smoothie bowl taste so good, but it tastes really good kind of on its own. So I'm gonna show you how I make this super quick and easy protein shake. I have just a little bit of almond milk, probably like a cup of almond milk. And then to that, I'm adding a scoop of vanilla perform protein, a bit of maca, probably like a teaspoon and ashwagandha powder. This doesn't really go so hot in smoothies, but it tastes pretty good with just this, so that's why I kind of have it on its own. Ashwagandha. Both really good for hormone balancing. And then you add some ice and a little bit of water. Mmm. And le voila. It's like this like, it's almost like a frappuccino kind of like texture because of the ice and it's so good. So post-workout protein shake, acai bowl. I added some extra toppings, some extra berries and stuff on there. Delicious, perfect for a super hot. Super hot what? I don't know. You're hot, baby. For a super hot gal. <laughs> I was gonna say for a super hot day because it's hot outside, but then I was like, for a wait, super that's hot not... babe? No, day! Oh. Alright guys, so it's been a few hours. I had a shower and I got some editing done and now I'm just making us some oats, of course. We always have oats. Always oats. I have just some water with some cinnamon boiling and now I am adding in we're just each gonna have half a cup of oats, so I'm adding in a cup of rolled oats. I got a lot of sun at the beach yesterday, so I am still a little kind of sunburnt. That's why I look really red. Well, actually not right now, because the lighting's really bright, but when I'm like this, I look real red. So we're just gonna... I also absolutely love raisins in my oatmeal, so I'm gonna add in a couple little handfuls. All right, so I've got my portion of oatmeal here. That one's Kyle's. And I've chopped up an apple and I have some peanut butter. I've just been loving this combination of apples and peanut butter since we've uh, bought them a few days ago. Big dollop of peanut butter. It's nice and cold from the fridge. 
and a little bit of pumpkin seeds, et voila. As most of you guys know, I have oatmeal pretty much every single day. Um, and I love having it just because it makes me feel so satisfied. Oatmeal satisfies me for hours. And usually I have it in the morning or in the afternoons here because we have access to so much tropical fruit. I've been having a lot of fruit in the mornings and like, like I did today, like having a little bit of fruit before my workout and coming back and having some more fruit. And then I'll usually have like my oatmeal later on in the afternoon. But yeah, I always have a different combo of oatmeal. There's just so many different ways that you can make oatmeal. And I even have a cookbook full of different ways that you can make oatmeal. And it's linked in the description if you guys want to check it out. But mm, so good, so satisfying. And if you haven't put raisins in your oatmeal while it's cooking, you need to do that. That was what my grandma used to do when she used to make me like porridge or oatmeal. And that's, I think that's why I love it so much, just because it reminds me of eating porridge at my grandma's. I'm gonna eat this, I have some more editing to do, and I will catch you guys at dinner. All right guys, a few hours later, yet again, I am in the kitchen, and I'm making some dinner, and I'm very excited because my head is getting cut off. That's not why I'm excited, but we're having tacos. I hadn't found good corn tortillas here until yesterday, I think it was, and I was so excited because I've been craving tacos. So we're having tacos for dinner. I am making kind of like my own little taco meat. And I've cooked up some lentils in some vegetable broth, some brown lentils. And then I have some quinoa cooking on the stove and I'm gonna kind of make it into like a little taco meat with a little bit of tomato puree and some spices. <clears throat> Kyle just got back from going to the gym for a second time today. Yes. You did, just did some boxing though, you weren't yeah, like lifting. Yeah, I just did boxing and it was so busy. We, have, we haven't gone to the gym at this time of day, like later afternoon on Monday, and it's literally three times busier. And we thought it was busy today. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm also going to steam up some, let me take my tripod off. Some corn and some tender stem broccoli. I'm obsessed with this. It is so good. And I'm also gonna prepare some chopped greens and tomato and guacamole. Cause that, you know, that's the, the taco things that you need to make a taco. So that's what I'm making right now. All right, so I've got everything in this pan, the lentils, the quinoa, and I also sauteed up some onions and garlic. And I'm going to mix this all together. There's a lot, I know. I'm making some more so I have leftovers. All right, we've got the taco spread happening. Kyle is making his tacos right now. Mm -hmm. This is how our lentil quinoa meat turned out. It turned out so well. I've been sitting here like preparing this stuff and heating up the corn tortillas and I've just been munching on this because it is so good. And then we've got some steamed corn, fresh tomatoes, guacamole, lettuce, lime, and the steamed tender stem broccoli on the side. Here are my four beautiful tacos and then I have my greens on the side. And then here are my supplements that I am taking with my meal that I'm going to show you right now. So there are two supplements that I take and I take them at mealtime or like after I have dinner usually. Um, the first one being B12. This is just a vitamin, a vegan vitamin B12 that I got here in South Africa. I literally cut the, these are sublinguals, but I cut, you can't even see that. I cut the sublingual into quarters. It won't even focus because it's so small. But you saw it on top there. Um, I cut it into quarters and I take a quarter of a sublingual um, once every few days. Um, I break out if I have too much B12 in my system at once. So if you're prone to getting acne and you're taking B12 and you don't know why you're getting acne all of a sudden, it could be because you are taking too much B12 at once. So I just take a quarter of a sublingual. I just got guac on my arm. Yum. And then I am also supplementing right now with a vegan omega-3. 
If you guys have noticed, I actually got a few questions on Instagram today if I'm still eating like chia seeds and hemp seeds and flax seeds and right now I am not. Um, I had trouble with digestion from eating a lot of hemp seeds and chia seeds so I've just kind of been staying away from them for right now and because of that, because I'm not getting a lot of omega-3s through like flaxseed and stuff, I've just been supplementing with this vegan omega-3 that is derived from algae and also flaxseed oil. So I have one of those per day and it gets me to where I need to be with my omega-3s and I also feel like this has helped with my skin a lot, which is always a plus. So I'm going to enjoy this beautiful plate of tacos. We'll see how I go. I might still be hungry after this and I might just make a bowl with some of that lentil and quinoa meat because it is so good and just add some more like corn and stuff on top, but we'll see. All right guys, it is the next day, the next morning, and I am here to break down everything that I ate today. I have my laptop here, and we're just gonna go everything through chronometer.com. That is the website that I use to break everything down with. Um, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Okay, so as you can see here, I have inputted everything that I had yesterday, including the supplements, and also I added some water at the bottom. You can see like breakfast here, my protein shake here, um, smoothie bowl, oats, and then everything for dinner. And of course this isn't gonna be 100% accurate, but it's going to give us a pretty good idea. So let's get right into it. So below here, you will see calories consumed about 2,800. Pretty average for a day where I'm feeling quite hungry, especially after like a super heavy leg session at the gym. I guess this is my calories burned because I have inputted my activity level, my weight, and my height. I don't know why it says calorie surplus of 1300. I guess because I didn't input my exercise, but anyways, I don't really look at that. You can see 64% carbohydrates, 22% fat, and 14% protein. So if you guys have been following me for a few years now, you would know that I ate pretty much like an 80-10-10 ratio, more or less, for the first few years that I've been vegan, and then this past year or so, I would say I've definitely increased more of my proteins and fats, so I'm eating more or less roughly a 60-20-20 ratio nowadays. So we scroll down here, and this is going to give you the breakdowns of all of the micronutrients, so vitamins, minerals, your carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. So I, as you can see, everything is pretty much in the greens here. Um, the B12, that's why I only take um, about a quarter of the sublingual, like I said, because you know it's a lot of B12 to have in one day. Um, the only things here would be 84% of B1, which is pretty good. When I look at things, I like to look at things as an overall picture. Some days I'm going to have more than 100% of vitamin B1. Some days I'm going to have a little bit less than 100%, and that's okay. You're not going to don't stress if you're not hitting 100% every single day. Vitamin D, I usually, if I'm back home in Canada, would take a vitamin D supplement because I'm not in the sunshine all the time, but here I'm definitely in the sunshine a lot more, so I'm not taking a vitamin D supplement at the moment. That's why 51% is coming from the almond milk. The almond breeze that we drink is actually fortified with a little bit of vitamin D, so that's where I'm getting vitamin D from in my food, but other than that, I rely on the sunshine. And then we scroll down to minerals. Everything is 100% except for selenium. Selenium is one thing that I was taking, not taking, but I was eating Brazil nuts for. I would just have a Brazil nut every day and that would get me to where I need to be for selenium. And I've just kind of forgotten about it this past month, so I haven't been doing that. But looks like I'm going to be getting myself some Brazil nuts and just having a Brazil nut with like my oatmeal or something every day. I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> but selenium is actually very important, and it is very important, especially for women. Okay, coming over to protein. Did I get enough protein as a vegan? I'm not sure why these are all saying NA, but you can see the amounts here when I scroll over them. And you can see when I scroll over, you can see the amounts, but I actually got 108 
0.6 grams of protein, most of which coming from the lentils, surprisingly, that I had yesterday. And then also, of course, the supplemented protein from the Vivo Life Perform that I had. So protein, clearly not an issue there. And I think even with um, excluding the protein powder that I had, everything would also be in the greens. I just include that protein powder as it really helps with my muscle recovery, especially on days where I'm working out. Coming up to fats, 73.7 grams of fat. Um, I definitely got more than enough omega-3 because I am supplementing. The supplement that I take actually wasn't in Chronometer. They only had their regular omega-3 complex but i looked it up and as you can see up here it says two capsules but the one that i take is only one capsule but it works out to be more or less the same amount of um like omega-3 that you're getting so that might not be 100 percent accurate but i just wanted to include it because it does you know make a difference coming up to carbohydrates 474.5 grams of carbohydrates um 107 grams of fiber I bet you that's like three times as much fiber as an average person gets in a day. So that's great. And then I drink about two liters of water a day. So that's about eight cups of water. And I included that here. So like I said, this is a very rough estimate. It's not gonna be 100% accurate, but it does give us a really good idea of how much I'm eating. And so like I said, 2,800 calories. And if we take a look at this, this is the Health Government Dietary Guidelines for 2015 to 2020. Um, this is a site that I always recommend if you're not really sure how many calories you should be consuming. Um, it's a, this is a really great kind of guideline. So if we scroll down under females here to, I am 23 years old, so 21 to 25. Um, I'm, I would say I'm active since I'm working out quite a bit. 2400 calories is like the average that you should be eating um, as an active person and I would say I eat between like I said 22 to 2800 like I did yesterday um, but more or less usually around 2500 so I'm kind of right in the range that is recommended which is awesome I'll leave a link to this website as well in the description down below if you're interested in checking that out but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this breakdown. I know a lot of you guys really like these types of videos just to kind of reassure you that eating a whole foods plant-based diet, you can definitely get everything that you need. And yeah, this is kind of like an update on how I'm eating, my ratios and calories and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up for me and leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.